This is the HP 65 again. I charged it up and now it will read the cards. So I'll run it through the uh, calculator. When I first got this, Pi hadn't been used in 20 years and the battery was left in it and that leaked out all over the place. And when I plugged in the AC adapter, I either get uh, nothing when I press the key or multiple hits. So I took it apart and cleaned out all the eraser debris that ended up underneath the contacts. Put it back together. And then I uh, realized what the two slots uh, were for the card reader. But that didn't work because it had the gummy wheel. And that is when the rubber roller inside there deteriorates into a gooey mess and everything gets stuck that you push in there. You just can't move it through. So I went on the internet, got a kit to fix it, which was basically some O-rings. Took the thing apart again, removed all the gummy wheel out, put on the O-rings, put it back together, and it works. But it only works when the battery's charged up enough to send the, get the motor running. I also got the, uh, the little manual here that was with it besides uh, the card and the program and then I got a little uh, brochure that was in there too it's got some water damage on it I don't know if you can see that that's the storage of how the calculator was not too good I always get a kick out of looking at these pictures the way the people dressed and the equipment and then here's the price list uh, Seven hundred ninety-five dollars. Whoops. Seven hundred ninety-five. Huh. So now I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to run. I wrote a little program for converting a temperature, you know, Celsius, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, Celsius. So I'm gonna turn the calculator on, and of course it doesn't want to go on. There you go. Uh, something's wrong. Oh, let's see if it works. So I'm going to feed the program in. It goes through. I'm going to put it up here so I know what key to press to run the program. Got the two slots. That one's for the... That's the see it, that's the read it. So I'm going to do... Let's see... 100 and I'm going to convert it to Fahrenheit and you get 212 and then you can go backwards back to 100 and the the trick one is 40 which well 104 I'm sorry it's negative 40 that's the one negative 40 is negative 40 remember that as a Jeopardy question or something. So that's how it runs. A little bit shaky on the keys though. Sometimes when you press them you may not get something but uh, that's pretty nifty. This was a big hit in its days but I'm too young to have used it. I just hold on to it for the next generation.